fever in early pregnancy linked to birth defects. Congenital heart and cranial facial defects are very common in live births. Heart defects affect 1% of live births and cleft lip or palate, affecting about 4,000 infants per year, but most of the time they have unknown causes. Fevers in a mother's first trimester of pregnancy increase the baby's risk for some heart defects and facial deformities such as cleft lip or palate, but exactly how this happens is unclear. Scientists have debated whether a virus or other infection causes the defects, or if fever alone is the problem. Researchers from University of California, Berkeley and Duke University School of Medicine, Durham, have found evidence indicating that the fever itself, not its cause, is what interferes with the development of the heart and jaw during the first three to eight weeks of pregnancy. The findings were published in the journal Science Signaling on October 10, 2017. Chun Lai Liu, an associate professor of neuroscience at Berkeley is the senior author and Eric Benner, a neonatologist and assistant professor of pediatrics at Duke is the co-senior author. The study identified a specific molecular pathway that links maternal fever directly to some of the congenital defects. So, congenital birth defects can be prevented if fevers are treated through judicious use of acetaminophen during the first trimester. Right now, as women are planning to become pregnant, their doctors advise them to start taking prenatal vitamins and folic acid. If they get a fever, they should not hesitate to take a fever reducer, specifically acetaminophen, which has been studied extensively and determined to be safe during the first trimester. Many doctors advise to avoid any drug during pregnancy, but there may be benefits in taking acetaminophen to reduce fever. Non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs such as ibuprofen, naproxen and aspirin also reduce fevers, but should not be used during pregnancy. There is also ongoing debate over whether sustained use of acetaminophen is safe during pregnancy to manage ongoing conditions such as arthritis. However, its judicious use for an acute problem such as fever is considered safe. Pregnant women should discuss all risks and benefits with their doctors. These findings suggest we can reduce the risk of birth defects that otherwise could lead to serious health complications requiring surgery. The scientists found that neural crest cells, cells that are critical building blocks for the heart, face and jaw, contain temperature sensitive properties. So, even a transient fever affects embryos craniofacial and heart the development, resulting in double outlet right ventricle, tetralogy of fallot and other outflow obstructions. The type of birth defect depends on whether the fever occurs during heart development or head and face development. What researchers still do not know is whether or how the severity or duration of a fever impacts development, future epidemiological and clinical studies are needed to evaluate those factors. Thank you.